We're here with Jade Melbourne uh, debut Opal this year, returning for the UC Caps for a second season in the WNBL. Thanks for coming, Jade. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Well, let's first touch on the year and a half that's been for you. It's been a crazy time. You've gone from playing state champs to WNBL debut, gems captain at the under-19s World Cup to making an Opal debut. Have you had a chance to process it all? Um, I have a little bit, like slowly, um, in bits and pieces and stuff. But like, like you said, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, but I've just tried to, like, yeah, stay in the moment with everything I've done and embrace the opportunity. Like I've had enjoyed every minute of doing it, and um, yeah, definitely caught the bug and want to continue to do some more. So, how do you pick a highlight? Oh, it's tough. Like, there's been so many throughout the year. Um, I think like they've all been great. Like each experience has had their own highlights. Um. Definitely the medals have been great, that's for sure. But, yeah, it's hard to pick a favourite. They've all been so good. And, um, yeah, I haven't been able to really break them down and get a favourite yet. But, yeah. So how does Melbourne winning the AFL Grand Final just stack up against the year that you've had? I mean, that's just been a bonus, really. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been, I've been um, a part of some such amazing experiences. And I guess I'll never forget watching – the D's win a grand final for the first time that I've been alive in Jordan. Like it's been crazy, but um, yeah, something I'll never forget. And um, I'm glad that, yeah, the D's got over the line this year, especially for all those supporters that have been supporting for so long and finally got to see one. And I'm just imagining you just streaming it in Jordan, like in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure you've heard, but topic of conversation at Asia Cup in the commentary box was just how electric you were. There were some incredible images and vision coming out of just you lighting up the court, um, just with the energy, getting everyone up and about. How does it make you feel when you hear commentators or people around the league and fans say that Jay Melvin is my favourite young player to watch? I guess for me, like, it's just me being myself, really. Like, I've always been super energetic. Um, I've always had heaps of energy and I always love getting around other people and stuff like that so like it's nothing new to me um but yeah it is it is cool I guess hearing those sorts of comments um I try to stay out of it as much as I can but sometimes you do hear them but yeah it's pretty cool but I think at the end of the day it's just me being myself and that's how I've always um played basketball that's how I've always been and that's how I'm going to continue to be focusing on Asia Cup walking into a team of highly experienced players that you know you've probably looked up to for a long time like what's your thought process yeah it's crazy like I've looked up to them and then in the WNBL I was playing against them and then I was playing with them so like even that in itself has been a whirlwind really and something that yeah I'll never forget like some of those girls I think there was nine of us that got to share it, uh the first time doing it all together which was really special we all had those like same excited nervous um just happy to be there kind of energy so it was really cool and um yeah I think yeah learning from them I, I learned so much from that small opportunity and something that will help me continue to grow my game and um yeah I'm just looking forward now to playing all um playing them all in the WNBL season any words of wisdom that you take away from it from any of the key players oh that's a tough one I mean there were so many like little one-liners thrown around throughout the but I think it's just like a lot of the time it was just kind of stay in the moment be yourself and then um yeah just work as a team I think that kind of reflected what we did like we played a really selfless brand of basketball and I think that's how Australia like to play and I think yeah just that being a great teammate it's a real key message that was kind of brought across the whole time especially with limited preparation um so yeah that's definitely a little wisdom that I'd take just be a great teammate and I mean having a friendly face and in, in your Caps coach and Opal's coach um Paul Gorris that his faith and um, confidence in you to get the job done that must be pretty comforting yeah it's cool I mean um, I've been yeah learning from God's now for the last 12 months and he's been great for my game and my development he like um, we've had conversations about what I want to achieve in basketball and he's really helped me um, he's always given me pointers tips um, and yeah the confidence he has in me like it's great for my game and my confidence as well so um, yeah I love Goz. Um he's a great coach and I can't wait to continue to learn under him for the next few months and then a couple of seasons after that and you guys in Hungary with the under 19 team congratulations again being a captain and all-star five 
for the competition, but you under 19 girls all look like you were just having the best time together. Um, these girls you've probably grown up with and now you get to reconnect with one coming to the Caps in Shanice Swain. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, um, like you said, that team at under 19s, like 10 of us had been living together um, and we like knew every, every, everyone knew each other so well. So I think to get over there, it was just excitement that we were playing in the tournament as a team. And like that kind of obviously showed the way we played on the court. We were selfless. We always looked for that extra pass. We gave up good shots for great shots. And that was just a great team to be a part and to fall just, just short of the gold medal was ultimately awesome. But yeah, Swainey, uh, we've been rooming together at the AIS for two years. Um, she's she's a legend. Um, she's going to really embrace this season next, uh, this coming season. Uh, she's real talented. She's long. She's athletic. And I think, yeah, there's, the sky's the limit for her. And, yeah, I'm living with her again at the Caps. And, um, yeah, we're learning how to cook and stuff, but it's been fun. Now you have to document that for us, for yeah. sure. That's <laughs> cooking. <laughs> The little cooking vlog. No, it's been interesting, but it's been fun. We're learning things every day. When you got to Canberra and you got to the Cats, who would you say out of your teammates took you under their wing and showed you the ropes? I mean, oh, it's tough. I think I think at the Caps, it's such a good, like, family culture. I think everyone just looks after one another. Like, I'm getting along with all the girls. Um, yeah, every day someone is helping me out with something. Um Alicia Froling is like living with us as well. And she's been really good for me, helping me out and stuff. So I guess like everyone really like, everyone's really kind. It's kind of the culture that the Caps build. And yeah, like nobody's left stranded at any stage. Like we've all got each other's back. And yeah, I wouldn't say anyone in particular, but everyone's just helping each other out. And it's been a really good family vibe building forward as well. Um, I think it's really good. And it's only going to help us throughout the season. When looking back to last year or your first season in the WNBL being in a hub that must have been just like a surreal bonding experience for everyone yeah it was crazy like um just seven weeks you were just with each other every day I think like I loved it um just learning from the girls like I didn't even think I was going to have the WNBL opportunity last year and then next minute with a month out I was playing and then a month later I was on the plane like it all just happened so quickly and um the girls were just awesome like we just embraced one another and all that. So you got really tight and you built really great connections and relationships with your teammates. So um, it's a new look caps kind of this year. We've lost a few of our key players, but um, like we're going to be good again, I guess. Um, we've got some great new pieces and we're all trying to build those connections and relationships up at the moment and it's going really well. And um, yeah, we're going to be have, we're on track for another good season. So um, I can't wait. So good to hear. And I guess, yeah, going into your second season returns to a bit of normality. What are you most excited about? I think I'm just excited to like play. Like this year, it's a full season. Um, we're going to be on the road. We're going to have. A, we're going to be playing in front of our awesome Caps fans. Um, they missed it last year, so I know they're all super excited to get back to um, cheering on the Caps. Like they do a great job, and they're always super loud. So I'm super excited to have that home court experience, and then just like play a normal WNBL season. I don't know what that looks like yet. Um, just playing in a hub but yeah I'm super excited and I know the rest of the team is so we're just all eager to get out back out on the court and yeah just give it our best shot. Oh well good luck for everything thanks for joining us on the WNBL's fast break series Dave it's been a pleasure chatting to you. No worries thanks for having me.